Now that I finally got uh, Fitbit, uh, of course I want to get the data from the Fitbit uh, into the HealthKit app that is in my iPhone. Uh, after all, I've been using the health kit for a while and uh, I kind of like the data that you get here and you get in a very nice overview. Uh, on a monthly basis, you can see all your steps, all your flights, your heart rate monitors. And since you get so much data from the Fitbit, uh, it makes a lot of sense to get this data into the uh, health kit dashboards. Uh, but you can't do that because there is no way to connect. Uh, the Fitbit. There's no way to connect the app to HealthKit. There's no way to connect uh, the the online version, like where you log into your account, to your HealthKit. Uh, until now that there's a fix for this issue. So if you go to App Store and you search for Fitbit after the Fitbit official app, you will see the Sync Solver for Fitbit. This app is about two or three dollars. Uh, but it will grab the data from your Fitbit account and it will shoot it straight into the HealthKit app. So now I will just buy this app um, and let's see uh, if it works out. Alright, it downloaded really quickly and let's open it and here we have SyncSolver would like to send you notifications. Uh, I will allow that for now. And then it says tap sync now to connect to Fitbit. The first download may take a few minutes. So I say tap now. In order for this app to work correctly, you must allow both read and write access to each data type in health that you want to sync. Continue, I say. Then I want active calories. Uh, I want... I just pick them all. Better all than missing some, I think. I'm not that well aware of uh, how this stuff is working. I'm just trying it out more or less. Okay, I press done. And then it opens up a browser window, I think. Yeah, it's opened up a browser window and it wants me to enter my data for my Fitbit account. So I will jump out and enter my data. Alright, I'm back here and I entered my data. I will push allow and then uh, let's see what happens. It now says downloading steps, downloading flights climbed, downloading walking plus running distance, weight, fat percentage, body mass index. Sleep analysis. Dietary calories, resting calories. Active calories. Also in the bottom there it says data will be automatically synced throughout the day. So this download is just something that you have to do once. Uh, and then this will uh, sync your Fitbit data into HealthKit all the time and you don't have to go through this process which could be pretty time consuming and uh, more than that pretty hard to remember I think because yes remember to sync is quite a hassle. Okay downloading active Calories took a while, which was weird because there's basically no data. Uh, Sync complete. Glad to have your Fitbit data in health. Don't forget to rate us in App Store. Uh, I won't rate now because I have no idea how this works. Uh, it now says last synced on February 25th at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, 3,288 data points and uh, data will be synced uh, throughout the day. So I will go back into my HealthKit app and I will see if there is any data here that I can look at. Uh, let's see now, uh, since this is recording my data uh, from not using the Fitbit, it will be a little bit hard for me to know now 
uh, whether this data matches the Fitbit data or not. Uh, I'd actually just have to uh, use this a little bit more and see how it works and then maybe do a follow-up video. Uh, but from what I heard it should work pretty handy. And uh, as you don't need to get into the app all the time to do uh, new things, it will just sync all the time. Then I guess I could just continue using the health app. And uh, I should probably turn it over to collecting the steps from uh, the Fitbit instead of collecting them from the uh, pedometer in the app. Or oh, sorry, in the iPhone. So uh, that was all for this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions uh, regarding this or anything else, uh, please uh, ask them in the comments below. And if you like this video and want more of this stuff, uh, please subscribe to my channel and I will provide. Have a nice day.